Hello everyone, I'm Asif Reza and I will give a brief idea of atomic clock. So what is clock and how it works? It basically consists of two key components. One is oscillator, other is counter. Let's take an example of a pendulum. It swings back and forth with a given frequency. So counting the number of oscillations, one can keep the track of time. Let's walk through the fascinating history of clock. In the ancient time, there was sundial clock, where position of the shadow is used to keep the track of time. There was water clock where level of water in a jar tells us the time. There was candle clock where length of the burning candle is used to keep the track of time. In 1656, it was realized that a pendulum swings back and forth with a very precise interval of time. And that idea was used in pendulum clock. There is earth rotation, which is a 24 hour universal clock. With the invention of quartz clock, the duration increases by at least an order of magnitude. In 1955, the first atomic clock was developed where transition or oscillation of an atom is taken as a reference oscillator. That sounds quite interesting. Due to much faster oscillation of the order of 10 to the power 10 to 3 to the power 15 hertz, an atomic clock offers unprecedented accuracy as compared to earlier point. So over the years, we get better and better clock with improved accuracy. For example, in early mechanical clock, there was one second inaccuracy over a time period of one minute. However, in the present case, the most accurate clock is optical clock, which is accurate to one second over the age of the universe. That means we will miss only one second over a time period of 13.8 billion years. There are two different types of atomic clock. The first one is microwave clock. Let's consider an atom. If an electromagnetic radiation falls on an atom, electron gets excited from its ground energy state to higher energy state. And after some time, it falls back again to its ground energy state, thus emitting an electromagnetic radiation with a given frequency. In microwave clock, the transition or oscillation of cesium atom between its two energy state is taken as reference oscillator. In international unit of time, one second is defined with respect to cesium atom which is the duration for 9192631770 oscillation of cesium atom between its two energy state. So there are two different varieties of microwave clock. The first is beam clock and other is fountain clock. In beam clock, there is a reservoir of cesium atom. When it is heated up, it comes out of the reservoir. With the selection magnet, we select cesium atom with ground energy state, say state three. Then it passes through the microwave cavity where microwave energy is applied to excite the cesium atom to its higher energy state, which is then deflected towards the detector. So, if we tune the microwave source in such a way that it is exact to the transition frequency of cesium atom, then we will get maximum signal, and that frequency can be used as a reference oscillator. If we want a better fractional accuracy, what we can do? We can reduce the velocity of the cesium atom. So, how we can do that? We have to cool the cesium atom to a very lower temperature so that its kinetic energy gets reduced. The techniques which is generally used here is called laser cooling technique. In a simple way, when an atom travels towards a laser, it absorbs photon from the laser and its momentum gets reduced. After laser cooling and trapping, cesium atom is thrown upward towards the microwave cavity. It passes through the cavity and after reaching a certain height, it falls back due to gravity and passes through the cavity again. Finally, fluorescence is detected using a probe laser. If we want a better clock, we have to choose the transition frequency which is higher as compared to microwave clock, say in optical region, which is of the order of 10 to the power 14 hertz. So there are two different types of optical clock. First one is lattice clock and other is trap time clock. In lattice clock, two counter propagating lasers are used to generate a potential profile that looks like an egg carton. So there is several local minima where an atom can be trapped. In a trap time clock, charged particle is trapped using an oscillating electric field. Due to the electric field, charged particle experiences a force in such a way that there is three-dimensional confinement of charged particle. After trapping, we laser pull the atoms or ions and then optical excitation is given for clock transition and finally fluorescence is detected. Although the accuracy of quartz clock, which is mostly used nowadays, 
is good enough for most of the human activities, but it is not sufficient in several applications that require very precise timekeeping. For example, in navigation system, it is only due to such an accurate atomic clock we are able to track a location within few meters. In precision and quantum measurement lab, we are developing a trap time clock, which will be used for several applications. In near future, we hope to share the joy of trapping a single neutrium ion in a trap time clock. Thank you.